60 seconds for humanity. This is your invitation to come and join all of us, all of humanity, in what I believe is going to be, I think, a worldwide changing event. This is an experiment, one that has never been done before. This is an experiment for mankind. The experiment is this. Five billion people with the same thought at the same time. It's never been done. Now, I have been talking for quite some time about the collective consciousness. This is an experiment to see if there is validity to the theory of a unified consciousness for our species, mankind. So this is an experiment that if we get five billion people who will participate, this will be the first time ever that this has ever happened. We would be part of making history. They will be talking about this event for millennia to come. And depending upon what happens, who knows? Again, it's never been done before. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. You and I, you know, I don't know about yourself, but I get frustrated when I see the species that I'm a part of and that I love and I feel so helpless as one person to stop the insanity, whether it's a parasitic infestation or whether it is a enslavement of our species, I don't know. I know this. I hear talk, 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 talk. And it's only after a tragedy that we seem to come together. And even that is fractured. So what I'm talking about, and this is what we're going to call it, it's 60 seconds for humanity. And we're going to be saying, be kind to one another. So think about this. It's never been done before. It's going to be making headlines, like I said, around the world. So there needs to be a date that can be picked. Now, I'm thinking something August, September. It's just a suggestion. It's going to take a while to get this organized and really to make this go. So, again, the thought is this. At the same time, all around the world, no matter what the time zone is, right? That if we can get 5 billion people out of an estimated nearly 7.5 billion to participate. I don't know about you, but just from a scientist part of me, I want to know what, what, what will happen. I don't know. It's never been done before. So if we begin to head out that way, then the next part of this is making it go viral, which you can be a part of. You'll actually be on the ground floor. We will need to make sure it continually is going viral. And then we want to make sure that it has gone viral. So all we are asking for is 60 seconds for humanity. I don't know about you, but this is that frustration I spoke about just a minute ago. 
This is something that you and I, everyone who hears my voice, and then hear your voice, and then they'll hear their voice to others. We're saying all we're asking for is 60 seconds for humanity. Is mankind worth the effort to put in 60 seconds, no matter where you are on this planet? Because that makes you a private member of planet Earth. This is an exclusive club. And if you were born on this planet, then you are a part of that unique membership. And so I ask you, as a fellow member, is not our species worth 60 seconds? And if for nothing else, but for 5 billion people to participate in this experiment. I believe, I really do believe that 60 seconds can make a difference. It can save your life if you're drowning, if you're having a heart attack, in a car wreck, right? What if we turn that around and now put all of our prejudices, all of our indifferences, all of our cavalierness aside and really look into the eyes of a stranger? I think 60 seconds can make a difference. And we could do this by thought. Again, it's never been done. So the challenge is this, is the thought itself. So I've been given us some thought. <laughs> okay, you got to like it. Hey, humor is good. So it needs to be simple, right? It needs to be so simple that it can be easily translated easily understood in no matter what language or what culture, right? Now, I've been giving this some thought, and I said, all right, so it needs to be easy to understand. Cool. Well, happy. Happy's a good thought, right? Now, happy can be a lot of different things for a lot of different people, but happy is, I think, one of those unifying thoughts. Healing. What if we were to say that we want healing for our planet? Now, maybe that's too broad. I don't know. But I know it needs to be something very simple. I think joy is another good one, right? Okay. So I'm recruiting. <laughs> so because I may have had the idea but this is not, this is bigger than one person. I'm just a sovereign being, as you are. And, you know, one set of arms can only lift so much. But a hundred arms lifts a thousand times greater. Right? So... We'll need to have some recruiting done here, right? So this is going to take people, folks, it's just plain and simple, who will help in spreading the word to family, their friends, their city, their country. We need people who will write blogs. We need people who will go out and start getting local interviews on uh, radio stations, rock stations, um, any type of media that will listen, start talking to local media. I mean, how could you be opposed for 60 seconds for humanity? Who can be against that, right? So we're going to need volunteers. Think about it. We're going to need a lot of help <laughs> because no way that any one person can do this. It would crush you. But again, 
many, many hands make a very hard task very simple. So we're going to need people who can organize events. If you've got professional experience, let me know. If you've got professional experience and resources to where we can get printing done, where we can get uh, um, uh, material uh, done, where people can begin to get uh, opportunities, as I said, uh, for t-shirts, for other type of gear. Um, I think we can start, uh, like I said, a nonprofit in this and making sure that the proceeds go to help the cause, right? 60 seconds for humanity. Getting the word out, right? We need observers who will take this from a scientific approach and document. I like to see documentation 30 days before and then 30 days after. Let's see if there really is substance to the theory of a collective consciousness. I think it'd be a great way to test it. And it can't hurt anybody, right? Again, who can be against this? Now, I'm going to be looking for talented volunteers. Listen, this has never been done before, folks. I mean, this is really something that will be a legacy that you will be leaving behind. So I need someone, again, I'm only one being. <laughs> so I need someone who, um, and this is going to take off. I really do believe it is going to take off. So I need people who have that uh, life experience, that knowledge, that, ex that experience and wisdom. And if you have a heart for humanity, and have the professional background that really want to help them get this done, great. Volunteer, listen, um, my attitude is, is that life in itself teaches us experience. By the way, I was thinking about this this afternoon. Do you know what it takes to become a wise person? You have to be a fool first. Because it's only by a fool's experience do you begin to understand the lessons that get you to become a wise person. All right, and so if you're such a person who wants to make a difference, let me know. I'm also looking for someone who has um, professional experience in setting up on a national uh, nonprofit level. And if you have professional PR experience, let me know. Uh, my Email at this point, the best way is uh, steigerrwayne at gmail.com. So if you're with me, I think that our species is worth 60 seconds. I am excited about being part of something that will change our history. Listen, no matter what the results are of the experience, of the, the experiment itself, we're still going to make history. How cool is that? And I believe that we will make a collective difference. All right, be kind to one another.